Hi, I'm Jason Sullivan of Rathbone Group, and this is On Subrogation, your free video resource for subrogation issues. This is part one of a three video series where we're going to look at different aspects of House Bill 837. This was a law that was passed in Florida on March 24, 2023, that makes drastic changes to how negligence and the time to file suit applies on those Florida subrogation matters. Previously, under statute 95.11, Florida used a four-year statute of limitations for most negligent actions. A negligence action is one that's based on a damage to property or personal injury caused by another person's breach of their duty, their failure to act with reasonable care. If you have questions on what a negligence action is and the elements of that claim, take a look at our other on subrogation video, specifically looking at negligence in detail. So in Florida, now we went from a four-year statute of limitations for negligence actions to a two-year statute of limitations. This drastically changes the time in which parties have to file a lawsuit based on a negligence claim in Florida. So how exactly does it work? Well, under House Bill 837, Section 28 sets forth that any changes to Statute 95.11, which is the statute of limitations provision under Florida law, that those are going to apply to causes of actions accruing after the bill becomes law. The bill became law on March 24th, 2023, and so that new statute of limitations is going to apply to causes of action that accrue after that date. If you have a loss that happened prior to that date, you can still rely on the four-year statute of limitations for negligence claims. If it happened after that date, you need to make sure that you update your claim and notate that you need to have suit filed by the two-year statute of limitations that's going to apply going forward. It's important to note that under Florida law, a cause of action accrues when all elements of the claim have happened. If you're dealing with an automobile accident and now have a subrogation claim against the tortfeasor, that likely all happened at the same time on the date of loss. The breach of the duty and the causation of damages and those damages happened all at the time of impact. So your cause of action is going to accrue on the date of loss and you'll have two years from that date of loss to file suit going forward. There are some other claims where maybe a contractor did work, put holes in the roof, and maybe the leaking didn't happen till later and there was no notice. So the damage happened later. That situation, it may not necessarily be the date the work was done that the cause of action accrues. It may be a later date. But if you have any questions on when the cause of action accrues, make sure you consult an attorney because it is very important that you don't miss that statute of limitations. And it's all the more important now that Florida has a two-year statute of limitations for negligence claims. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach us at video at rathbonegroup.com. Otherwise, for House Bill 837 and the Statute of Limitations, that's the long and tort of it, and I'm Jason Sullivan of Rathbone Group.